Welcome back to Goldwyn Dinner Club. I'm Griff. I'm Parker. And today, yeah, we're doing it. It's time. I think it's time. I mean, unless we don't get there in time, but I feel like it's time. Samus, fire your gun off three times if it's time. She says oh. it's time. Okay. Love communicating with Samus through the game. Instead of turning next to this uh, person, we haven't animated fully. <laughs> She's actually more animated than we are. <laughs> she has like a little bow. <laughs> You know, do you ever, uh, I'm sure you do, but as an avid, uh, I'm going to say game player. I don't, I just, nobody likes the label gamer. Nobody likes it. Somebody, somebody I like I, gamer. Somebody I worked with once had the audacity to like, in the middle of some argument, be like, look, dude, we're, we're both gamers. And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm like, I don't know if you're trying to insult me or I just, it was the weirdest thing anybody could have possibly said to me at any moment. And I'm like, I feel like he's trying to connect with me. We have and, connected. <laughs> and and simultaneously, like, dog me or something? Like, I'm like, I, whatever you thought this was doing backfired spectacularly. And now I think I, like, uh, I might hate you forever. <laughs> because your moment of connecting with me as a human being was saying, look, we're both gamers. And I'm like, I just don't think anybody oh. likes being labeled on their hobbies. Yeah. You know? Yeah, don't do it. I'll t look, I'll talk to you about Mario and Batman 24 hours a day. But the moment you're like, boy, he really likes Mario and Batman, I will never see you again. And I will never talk to you again. <laughs> yeah, it's just one of those things. It's weird. But, I mean, you, you get it. I think most people can relate to that where it's like... I've, you, I've never really liked... I've never, I've never really liked nerd culture. Like yeah. the brand of nerd you just culture. Wanna, you just want to like the stuff you like on your own. Yeah, like, why is everything... Everything now has to be called nerd something, nerd thing. This is a nerd place for nerds. Like, <laughs> like shut up. Like, <laughs> I feel like that's finally dying down, but it was this weird sort of phase. Not on YouTube. On YouTube, everything is nerd this, nerd that. Is that really... It. Is that really still... That's still happening, huh? Yeah, it's because it's like it's like a brand now. It's like a it's like a universal brand that everybody wants to do. Nerd boss. I'm just, Nerd I'm just chef. like not into it. Yeah, I'm just like not into it. Whenever I bought like this hat from it was the exact hat that Macaulay Culkin wears in Home Alone. Yeah. The freeze? Oh. Maybe it did. Oh, oh no. no. Oh no. And it's okay. We can reconnect. I'm gonna reconnect. Technical difficulties, yeah, rejoin. So as I was saying before, I was really interrupted by Nintendo Online. Wow. Uh wow. Um, okay, we're back. Uh wow. that was so super, super I got super. I got the exact hat from uh Home Alone that Macaulay Culkin wears. Wow. And I'm I like love it, but it has a big tag on it that says nerd on it. And oh, I'm like, man. don't, I'm not going to wear this now. And I ripped it off. I was like, don't write the word nerd on something I'm going to buy, you jerks. Yeah, it's really, I don't know. It's odd. I'm like, I'm like, this is like, I, I get it. It's like, for some people, maybe it's like a Gen X thing where it's like, we're reclaiming the word because it really hurt us. And I'm like. I think we got called way more explicit and horrible yeah. crap growing up. Like we, nerd never nerd, was, nerd nerd didn't bother me. That was not like, some label that hurt my feelings. It hurts my feelings now. Now that it's like a popular way of just saying, like, oh, did you like the Star Wars movies? You're a nerd. You're nerd culture. Like, no, I just like films. Like just, yeah, Star Wars are great examples of great I, films. Like I, I don't care for like organized fandom in general like i, I get yeah. why people do it but i'm like let me enjoy things individually and i will talk to you about them individually but i'm not gonna join your forum and i'm not gonna like join your discord and i'm not gonna go to your meetings yeah i i don't 
need that. I want to be alone and I want to enjoy the things I like <laughs> alone and then talk to them only with Griff <laughs> at a predetermined like, place and time called Goldwyn Dinner Club for a nominal fee. Like I like I like I like going to conventions, but like uh only just because it's like a really cool place to find rare stuff to buy. Yeah. And you'll see people wearing awesome cosplays. And but I don't really I don't go there because I'm thinking but like I, oh man I'm gonna wanna... make I'm gonna finally meet my like soulmate. Yeah, it's there. like but but let me be clear I don't want to talk to any of you. Yeah. <laughs> I just good. like want to observe. I want to shop you know a little I, bit. I, I think about this all all the time, but it's a scene from Curb Your Enthusiasm. It's like the 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 season where he goes to New York, just just to get out of something. <laughs> He like moves to New York temporarily just to get out of doing some benefit because he's a horrible person. But there's a scene where this guy he doesn't know is just insisting on having lunch with him. And he's like, I, I, why would we have lunch here? He's like, oh, we never have lunch in L.A. We can do it here. And he's like, if we don't have lunch there, we certainly don't need to be having lunch here. And the guy keeps pushing it. And so Larry's like, look, uh, I'm good. Like, I don't, You really want this? I don't want it. And the guy goes, you know what you're doing, Larry? you're taking a world that is like this and his hands are spread far apart and you're making it like this and he pushes them really close together a little gap between and Larry goes you know what I want to do I want to close that up and he like takes his hands and <laughs> pushes them together like like this and he goes perfect that's what I'm looking for and I know you know that character is not something to aspire to but I'm like there it is that's me same close it up I'm not looking to expand this world we're done we're done here. No new faces. Memory full. Oh, did it crash again? No, here we go. Okay. That was cool with like the little flashing eyes turning yeah, off. Yeah, the jewels. I have I always thought about this though. I'm like, what kind of weird security system is it to be I like, know. to set up statues of your dudes? Do you think that they saw Mother Brain setting up the security system and they're like, uh, what the hell is this? Like, wait, I have to, wait, you guys are planning that I'll die and that'll unlock this door? That'll never happen, baby. It's like, what? <laughs> Mother Brain. She also, Ooh. she also weirdly didn't put anyone guarding that door. Well, the statues. The four guys were the people guarding it. I don't know. It's just kind of weird. Although I guess it looks way cooler than like a key So these card. are real Metroids. These are real Metroids. They have the three nuclei. Ooh, freeze it. Freeze it, Samus. Blow it up. About five missiles. Boom. Yeah, I know my stuff. Let's get out of here. You gotta kill I was watching all, Lord of the Rings and I was thinking, why didn't Sauron just put one dude at that volcano? Oh. I, I believe because he could see it. Froze again. That was though. I mean, I know it's just sort of... Wow. God, we're having a hard time. Don't know why. Um. Yeah, it was just like... If he had just put in one dude guarding the one place that could destroy the ring, it's like Sam and Frodo were crawling at that point. Like he could he have just, just gone up to them and stepped on their heads the end of the movie. Yeah, I mean, that's the least of that movie or stories, like plot holes. The classic one is like, why didn't the sparrows fly him? And I know everyone's like, shut up. But it's like, no, that's very valid. Just fly. No, if the they eagles, could fly in, they could fly out. Sparrows, sorry, eagles. The I'm eagles, of Lemmy Winks. The eagles are the eagles are basically like God's pet or something. And like they don't like to get involved with like world changing events. Oh, that's very but convenient. Like, well yeah, I mean it's it's a the science fiction. It's science fantasy, but like uh There's no But science. yeah, they're they're not they're not supposed to get involved. But like just to save Frodo and Sam's life, that's cool. But you know what, at the same time they did help fight uh -huh. when they all and fought. In, and in the Hobbit they like flew fed ferried them away as a favor to Gandalf. They also and showed up during the Battle of Five Armies that's fine. and fought in that battle, too. Yeah, it, it I don't really know. Sense. I haven't read the books. I've just seen the movies, but the movies I really like, and I don't really care. I, just, I, like, bet, I, like them. I bet this is driving Samus crazy. What? I bet Samus is a real big fan of Lord of the Rings and would like us to shut up. <laughs> and it's like, you don't know what you're talking about. She's listening to audiobooks inside there. Oh, this is cool. All this stuff is like... Oh, it's been drained by a Metroid. Ooh. All the stuff that's like... Fading away. Whoa! Oh my God. It's the baby. 
the baby. Because you think it's going to attack you. Oh, it does. Oh my god. No, recognize, recognize your mama. It can't evolve here because the Aeon energy isn't there. And then wait, it's like... Cool. Well, that's been another episode of Goldwyn Dinner Club. Oh, man. What's going to happen to the baby Metroid? What's going to happen to Samus? Tune in next time. Tune in next time for what might be the finale. I'm not sure yet. Out, out, out.